For those that are using the Thinkorswim platform, I'm going to show you a couple of hacks for you to generate anchor volume profile and also sort of fixed range volume profile. We all know the volume profile on the TOS system is kind of limited in terms of flexibility, but I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple of easy hacks that you could generate those. So stay tuned. Here I have a uh, daily chart of uh, Tesla. So let's uh, first, we're going to add the uh, volume profile to the chart. So I come down to this steady and do edit steady. And I'm just going to type in volume. And you see at the uh, end of the list here is volume profile. We're going to add this to our chart here. And I'm going to show you the setting that I have on the uh, volume profile. So I'm just going to show you, and if you want to copy these uh, setting, just freeze the video and get those setting off because I'm not going to go through each one of them. And here is the, uh, the bottom here for these uh, POC. So um, just, uh, you can see and just uh, you know, pause the screen to uh, get the uh, radius setting. So that's, uh, I'm not using the uh, profile high or the profile low. And here's the value area high and the value area low. And here is the uh, setting for the uh, various uh, color on the uh, profile. Okay, so that's the setting that I have on my profile. Now I'm going to apply this, and you can see that it's shown on the screen here. And also the expansion area is uh, click here. You can see that I have uh, expand this area using uh, 50 balls, so uh, that will give us uh, enough. Uh, room here to show the uh, profile. All right, so that's basically what we have. Now let's say, for example, we like to uh, look at this swing here, from uh, this point here to uh, to this right here. Okay, so we're gonna set the uh, the chart to just plot this uh, particular range of the the date here. Now let me uh, kind of mark this off for you, so you know which uh, section I'm looking at. So the date for the uh, profile that we want to uh, start is right here, you know, the uh, January 6, 2023. Okay? And the end date here is over here, which is uh, uh, July 19, 23. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, so right now we're going to come up here for this, uh, you know, the chart duration here. We're going to click on time frame, and then we're going to select custom here. Okay, you see that custom, we could specify the date. Now, the date that we wanted here is uh, January the 6th, uh, 23. Okay, so, um, well, we got the January here, so just go back one year. And it's January the 6th, right? So we got that, the starting point. And then the end point here is July the 19th, 23. So we're going to go back one year and get up month. And it's on the 19. Now we're gonna leave it as date each day for right now. So here we go. Now, now it just generates the chart from this time point here, you know, January 6 to July 19. So that's basically is the range that we are plotting. Okay. And here is the profile of this range. And we can see all these low volume area and the uh, high volume no. So now the next thing is I'm going to mark off using the uh, price line and mark off some of these uh, low volume zone here. Okay, so uh, the, uh, mark this off and I'll show you the way that I have set up my price line. Okay, so you can see that I have the right extension on. I don't want to show the name and show the price on the right side. Okay, so that way this line will extend to the right infinity right okay so basically that's why got set up and then i'm going to set another line here so basically i'm just going to go and go in all those uh, zone and uh, you know it might not be uh, need to be uh, really accurate but uh, if you want to make it accurate then you know go and uh, fine tune it okay so uh, here i'm basically just going to mark off a few lines and uh, some of these zone okay so basically i just mark off these two prominent low volume zone. All right, so now I'm going to go back to just plot maybe one year of the data. Right? You see that I have those uh, zone. 
Now, this profile is no longer represent that range of date that we were dealing with. And I guess this one year doesn't go back far enough. So I'm going to go back a couple years. Let's do uh, two years because right now is uh, year 2024. We want to 2023 here. So now I'm going to change this to the rectangular two. And I'm going to go and draw this in. So I have this mark off as a zone. Okay, so uh, I uh, let me let me go and set this to some blues color. So I select the color and then go select it again and then click more. Okay, because we want to set the transparency. So select this and uh, I use 50% transparent. So you can see. So now you click this and oops, let's go back. Let's go back. I forgot I clicked that too fast because I want to set this as a default. So every time that I draw the uh, rectangle, it will cover this, uh, you know, have to shade it with this color and the 50% transparency. Okay. So there, I, there you have it. Now I got these zone here. All right. So basically this represent these two, you know, this profile here, this range profile. And I got these uh, low volume zone and you can see how the price come down and react to the, that low volume zone seems to, uh, you know, came down, got a little reaction here. Uh, sort of got an acceptance here. So not much, uh, really, uh, not much of a reaction coming down on this range here. So now we're going to go and set the uh, anchor volume profile from this point to, uh, uh, to the present and then see what kind of, a, you know, acceptance and rejection coming down at this level. So once again, we're going to, you know, select this date here, which is, you know, July 19. Now come back up and select this time frame. Again, we go custom and we go to July 19, right? So let's go to July 19 and to today, right? This is today. So we could just, you know, basically today is the 21st. Okay, so we're going to leave it at one day for now. Right, you know, each bar is a daily chart. Let's do the daily chart so you can see that. Let me zoom in, make sure that we got all the date, uh, you know, cover. So now you can see right now, this basically is the anchor volume profile from this point on. Okay, so we can see that we have a little bit of a low volume or the volume dent here, a little bit of volume dent here, low volume zone and then a couple of these uh, high volume uh, area. So you could see that you could mark these off or you could just play around with it. So let's go and mark some of these off here, right? Let's do this uh, volume then. Let's kind of, and what I like to do is I also like to uh, set it off with different color. So it kind of tell me that, you know, one is I'm looking at the, you know, previous range and right now I'm looking at the, the current. So once again, I want to set this transparency to 50%. So come back here and set this transparency. All right? So set this as default now. So now every time I'm going to draw that, I'm going to have that in there. So let's draw this gap here. Okay, this low volume zone. And then we also have this little bit of a low volume area here. Okay? So that's basically is the anchor volume profile. Now you could go and change it. Change the uh, now. Make sure you don't change the calendar. You could change the uh, the period. Let's say you want to do uh, you know one hour candle. So you select one hour, and now you have an hourly chart of that particular anchor uh, volume profile, which is here. Okay, and you can see some of these uh, you know different uh, distribution here on this volume profile from uh, you know on an hourly basis. So that's how you set up anchor volume profile on Thinkorswim. And also uh, sort of a hack way of the, going around that uh, fixed range profile. Once you set up your, you know, mark off your zone, then you could uh, go and do this. So let me know what you think. And uh, you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section below. I hope this uh, is useful for you. And uh, be sure to smash the thumbs up to give it a like. And if you are new to my channel, click to subscribe to help support this channel. Thank you for watching and good luck.